Hello there, welcome to Lyrics To Go, I'm Daniel. What you're about to see is a free clip from a Patreon-only bonus episode that uh, is available to my Patreon subscribers. If you want to see the whole thing, I promise you it's awesome and being a member is totally worth it. Head on over to patreon.com slash lyrics to go. There is a direct link in the description below. Okay, thanks. Enjoy the clip. Lyrics to go. You picked uh, one other musical theater song that we could take a quick look at, and then I want to move on to some other topics. Um, and this is from The Music Man. Yeah. Which is, a, which is another show that I have never seen, but I know it. I know of it. You will apparently have an opportunity to uh, soon if you so desire. Is it? Wait, is that it's, right? It's still coming into Broadway? Is that the Hugh Jackman version? Yeah. He's a music man. He's a what? He's a music man and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rat a tat drums and the big brass bass, big brass bass. And the big low, the big low uniform too, with a shiny gold brain on a coat and a big red stripe. And well, I don't know much about this, but I do know you can make a living selling big trombones. No, sir. So you chose a song that barely has a rhyme in it. Yes. And it barely has a sung note in it. I think Stephen yep. Sondheim called this like a proto rap song or something. Um, and, and yeah, it really is. So this is, uh, you got trouble. Oh, we got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for poo. Hey, hey, we surely got trouble. We sure got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Yeah, this was a show that I, um, gosh, in my formative years, uh, kind of fell in love with. Uh, as far as like old school musical theater, it's just, it's just one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really so strange when you look at it though, that yeah, a number like You Got Trouble that is like wrapped essentially, or like the way the barbershop shop quartet is used throughout that show. It's, it's really got some quirky things about mm -hmm. that show. Uh, even though you think of it as like the ultimate, like just kind of like typical, like Broadway show, you know, uh, right up there with Rodgers and Hammerstein and The Music Man. No, but, um, it's, but it's nothing like Rodgers and Hammerstein. I, mean, yeah, I know, I know. It really isn't. It really isn't. Yeah. That particular song, I will say what amazes me about it. Um, not only, I guess, the, the boldness of like, yes, the, the, the rapt lyric, uh, but, but the amazing like detail and specificity of that lyric, um, like, I don't know what half the stuff that he talks about or references in that song, what it means, but the details sound so authentic and so right. And it's like, they're etched in my brain regardless, even though I don't know what, like trying out Bebo, trying out Cubebs, trying out TaylorMades, like cigarette fiends, you know. They were trying out Bebo, trying out Cubebs, trying out TaylorMades like cigarette fiends and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breath with Sen Sen one fine night. Bragging I will cover up the telltale breath with Sen Sen. I don't know what any of that's big, A big out of town Jasper in a pinch yeah. black suit. Pinch, pinch back suit, yeah, yeah. Pinch Listen back, yeah. Out of town Jasper, uh, yeah. Next thing you know, playing for money in a pinchback suit, listen to some big out of town Jasper, hearing him tell about a horse race gambling, not a whole, wholesome trotting race, but a race where they sat down right on the horse. Like, <laughs> like the specificity of like, oh, he knows that people in this like little town of Iowa don't approve of like horse racing where they sit on the horse, but they, uh, they would approve of a wholesome trotting race. It's like so incredibly specific and you just feel like everything about it. Like, well, like where, where, they, where they walk beside the horse, trotting the horse along. I don't even know what a, you know, not a wholesome trotting race. Like maybe that's the one where they, they're in the little cart, the little shay or something. Yeah, like, maybe, maybe. But he, as opposed to one where they sit on the horse. Yeah. And then like to see some. I took a horse, I took a horse from, from my first canter a few weeks ago. With Wait, some sorry. I, I, some Mexican gauchos put me on a horse a few weeks ago and, and showed me how to like, they like basically were oh like, okay, God. the horse, the horse is going to canter now. It's going to be a light canter. And was I'm like, what's that? <laughs> it was awesome. It, it was it was it was scary at first, but we went through I'm a river. Was... This trip to national parks and out west that I'm going to once again have to go horseback riding because it's what it is one of my fears actually, possibly mm -hmm. because of Cole Porter and what happened there. What um, happened there? You know, Come in the store. 
he was crushed by a horse and spent oh. the later years of his life like unable to walk and in tremendous pain i guess um yeah he like fell and the horse fell on him and yeah um horses horses scare me a little bit because they're so big and you don't know what they're gonna do not really they're large yeah 